Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our thrilling tale. Today, we're diving into the winter solstice festival in the heart of Harrisonburg. Picture this, a town transformed into a winter wonderland with lanterns hanging like stars over cobblestone streets. The air is filled with the scent of roasted chestnuts and spiced cider, and laughter and music dance through the crisp air. But beneath the surface, there's an undercurrent of tension. Clara Thompson and Eli Rodriguez are at the center of it all, having unearthed an artifact that has awakened the town's buried fears. So, buckle up as we explore this festival that's more than just a celebration. It's a reckoning. Now, this reminds me of those classic tales where the festival is not just a celebration but a turning point. Clara Thompson stands at the edge of the town square, her bright green eyes scanning the crowd for Eli Rodriguez. Together, they've unearthed an artifact that holds immense power. Eli's warm brown eyes reflect both excitement and apprehension as he asks Clara if she's ready. Clara nods, though uncertainty gnaws at her. Today is not just a celebration. It's a reckoning. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting a golden glow over the square, Mabel Carter, the town's wise old woman, steps forward. Her silver hair shimmers like moonlight as she proclaims that tonight is not just for celebration but for healing. The townsfolk gather, ready to face their fears. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. The townsfolk form a circle, their faces illuminated by flickering lanterns. Clara feels a surge of courage as she steps forward, her heart pounding like a drum. She begins to share her story, her voice trembling yet resolute. As she speaks, she catches sight of her father, Henry Thompson, standing at the edge of the circle. Their eyes meet, and a silent understanding passes between them. Clara's words weave a tapestry of vulnerability that envelopes the crowd. One by one, the townsfolk begin to share their stories, their fears spilling forth like a river breaking free from its dam. Eli stands beside Clara, his presence a steady anchor as he listens intently. The air crackles with emotion as confessions of regret and sorrow fill the space. The artifact's energy pulses, a reminder of the shadows they all carry. But what if I told you this festival is more than just a gathering? When Henry finally steps into the circle, Clara holds her breath. His voice, rough yet tender, breaks the silence. He admits his fears and regrets, and the townsfolk nod in understanding. Tears glisten in Clara's eyes as she watches her father embrace his vulnerability. In that moment, the festival transforms from a mere celebration into a cathartic release, a collective exhale of burdens long held. As the night deepens, the lanterns flicker like stars in the dark sky, illuminating the path toward forgiveness and understanding. Clara feels a warmth spread through her, a sense of belonging that had eluded her for so long. The festival is not just a gathering. It's a rebirth, a promise of renewal as the darkness of the past gives way to the light of shared truths. Together, they embrace their histories and step into a brighter future, united in their journey of healing.